G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. In light of the recent proposed battle rating changes that Gaijin have decided to show us, we are going to be having a discussion about the MiG-21 PFM. No decompression, none of that good stuff, just more Gaijin stuff. I, I'm kind of lost for words at this point. It's every single time we see the issue, and we see the solution, and Gaijin says, nah, statistics. And for me, that has to be one of the most frustrating things because I, I can see the solution. It, it's right there in front of me, but I can't do anything about it because I'm not a developer. And apparently, Gaijin knows better than the people that play the game every single day. But anyway, I digress. We're going to be talking about the MiG-21 PFM specifically. And this particular plane is proposed to go down from 9.7 to 9.3. Now, this would have it seeing 8.3s like the Sabre, the A5 Sabre, the F25 and the F35s, as well as uh, other uh, very, very subsonic creatures. This particular plane is just one of those planes that should not be there. It's, I get it, it's a plane that is very hard to fly, and it is a plane that is, in some cases, very hard to do well with, but you need to learn the plane for it to be actually good. Now, the PFM is a fairly good plane, and I really, really enjoy flying the plane out. It's fairly capable, it has decent missiles, it's, you know, only basic R3Ss, but the R3Ss you can make work. It has fantastic performance, it has fantastic pull, it has plenty of speed, and of course it has a decent climb rate. So, what's not to love about the MiG-21 PFM? It used to be really, really painful because it used to sit at 10.0 and get up tiered every single match. But now that it's no longer an up tiered Andy, it does get some good games where it can shine in its element. So, why would you put it down? Well, the answer is probably because it's getting more up tiers than it is getting down tiers. And for me, I think that's a really piss poor answer. If you said to me, uh, this plane is bad because it gets up tiered, I, I guess I could understand that, but you can't just write off a whole plane because you are ignoring the down tiers. And in this case, the down tiers here are perfectly... it's fine, it's perfectly capable. The issue is, as always, the battle ratings that are above the MiG-21 PFM, and that is the 10.7 ceiling. The 10.7s are absolutely clubbing the crap out of the PFM, and it's just simply because they're better. The PFM is one of those planes that is stuck in the middle, just like the F-104s, just like the T-2, just like the F-1. There are, just like the F-4C, there are plenty of planes that are stuck in this limbo, where they are fairly good, but they just get up-tiered, or when they're up-tiered, they are absolutely useless. And these types of planes require battle rating decompression. These planes are the ones that are the, the real sufferers, and it's not just these planes, pick any single plane between 9.7 and uh, like 10.3. So you pick any plane and you will find more likely than not that they will really, really suffer in up tiers, especially against R60s and AIM-9Js. They are going to suffer. And you know what? That's kind of just how it goes with Compressed Matchmaker. What I would really love to see is I would really love a decompressed matchmaker because at that rate you would have a greater variance of aircraft to balance properly. You would have more planes that are better balanced so people would more likely play these better balanced planes. I have said this a million times but I feel like it bears repeating because those of you that haven't been around for battle rating changes might not understand or might not uh, be familiar with that sort of process. Now, the way that Gaijin tends to balance their, their vehicles is through statistical analysis. And normally, a statistical analysis will give you a fairly accurate representation of what you want in the world. If you want to look at, I don't know, births, deaths, and marriages, you just look at your local statistics bureau. Uh, if you want to look at your crime rates, you look at the, stati the statistics. But if you want to find out why those crimes happen, then you have to look deeper. And you can't tell the whole story from statistics. You might actually need to look at certain things like is the area a low socioeconomic area is it full of crime is it because there's just no work is it you know because there are cultural issues like or racial issues or whatever it doesn't matter I'm, ge I'm getting off topic but the point is you can bring that back to war thunder you can say well okay why is the pfm performing so poorly well it seems like that in a up tier 
it does really shit, because it does. Because it doesn't have R60s, because it doesn't have flares, it only has two missiles, it has 200 rounds of GSH-23, which are good if you know how to aim it, but are really hard to aim. The plane is unforgiving, because as soon as you turn, you bleed a lot of speed, and of course, once you've bled all your speed, you're very easy pickings for an AIM-9J. Not only that, but it is an event plane, so event planes will tend to be a little bit more on the derpier side, if you will. So these are the reasons why the plane might be performing poorly in an up tier. And overall, the statistics might look bad because it is getting more up tiers than down tiers. Because if you can see here, 10.3, it's doing pretty well. The plane is serving me quite well. It's similar in performance to the F1. Uh, the F4Cs are, you know, they're bearable. You could deal with them. They're, you know, definitely better, but you can deal with them. Lightning F6s, you can deal with. F100s, pretty fair game, and of course G91s, A4s, anything like that is pretty easy pickings. So these types of planes don't really have an issue with the matchmaker from 10.3 to 8.7. It has the issue just with that 10.7 bracket, and if that 10.7 bracket wasn't facing them, then they wouldn't have a problem. And so what I would propose, of course, is, you guessed it, decompression. This is the thing that I've been harping on about for such a long time. Battle rating decompression is highly important to a balanced game mode. And even though that will increase the queue times by a little bit, because you're making a brand new plane just viable again, and in fact you're making a whole ecosystem viable again, then of course you are able to increase the matchmaker population. Because who knows, people like to gravitate towards really powerful shit. So if you're going to bring out uh, a plane and give it a new lease on life and make it powerful again, people are going to play it. And your queue times might dip for the first, you know, half an hour of the server being up. But once they start playing it, and once start, people start realizing that, you know, MiG-19 might be viable again, or the F-104A might be viable again, or the Su-7 might be viable as a, as a fighter instead of, you know, just as a, a meme plane to shit on people that don't get an air spawn. These types of planes, with a new lease on life, might just make it into the regular matchmaking a lot more often because they are that much more viable. And that is the key that I'm getting at. When you make a plane good, people are going to gravitate towards it. And of course, by making more planes viable, you are going to make more people gravitate to more planes in a more varied matchmaker. These are the types of things that statistics does not pick up. And these are the types of things that I always harp on about and get really amped up about. Because for me, this particular tier of jets is one of my favorites. This sort of 9.7, 9.3. And what you're going to do otherwise is you're just going to compress it. You're just going to make it more miserable. And you're going to make things like the Venom suffer even more. And no one's going to play them because they're becoming less balanced. In fact, I want to talk about a plane that is at 8.3 that will be uh, not quite affected by these changes, but, but it might be mildly affected. And that is the Yak-30. Have you played the Yak-30 lately? Has anyone played the Yak-30 lately? No, because it is absolutely terrible. So what would you do? Would you put it down in battle rating? Well, it's at the same battle rating as the MiG-15 BIS, and it's completely garbage. So would you play it? No, I would never touch it. I don't want to touch it, and I don't want to play it, and I don't expect any of the community to play it. And that is why, in my opinion, you can't get an accurate representation of the uh, game via statistics. There are not only multiple factors in each vehicle, each vehicle being unique, each vehicle being uh, vary varying in their difficulty levels. For example, the MiG-21 PFM is a lot harder to play than the American F-100D because the American F-100D has more ammo, uh, has a better sort of handling characteristics, it's got better missiles, and it's got four of them. It's got uh, fairly forgiving flight characteristics, whereas something like the Lightning is really difficult to play, and or something like the Javelin is really difficult to play. These types of planes really suffer when you match make with statistics, and it's just simply because they don't really form into that, uh, they, they don't really fit a box, and, and that's the really sad thing, right? The way I like to see things is in a whole ecosystem. You have to look at things from every little angle and every little detail. Otherwise, you're going to miss something. And this is what statistics are missing. They're missing those planes that aren't played as often because what Gaijin does when they have a look at their battle rating changes that they need to make is they have a look at the ones that have the most data. And you might think, well, why not look at every single one? And the answer is quite simple, really. You look at those planes that 
are played fairly often because they're going to have the most likely accuracy. Those types of planes are most likely to be represented accurately by the statistics. And unfortunately, that means flavor of the month planes. These types of planes are normally the ones to get nerfed. Like when the G91YS does well, it gets put up because it's one of those planes that was flavor of the month. But now it's not flavor of the month, so no one really touches it. These types of planes, or the, the weird OP planes, is what the statistics catches. And I think that it's good for that. It's really good for that to show where those planes are best. But then you have a look at what the planes that you're lowering might uh, might affect. For example, if you're lowering the PFM into an 8.3 matchmaker, you're going to be affecting 8.3 planes. And you're going to be affecting the statistics of those 8.3 planes, making them look bad and forcing you to put down further. So for example, let's say F86A5 gets match made constantly against the PFM. The PFM is going to dominate because it is just a better plane and the A5 is just going to run out of energy. So when the F86A5 runs out of energy, then it's got pretty much nothing left on the cards and dies because that's just the way it is. They keep dying and because everyone wants to play their F86A5 or their F86F35 because, you know, it's a premium, they want to grind out some sort of stuff like that you end up getting a situation where the Gaijin thinks the next logical step is to down tier it. And we all know that that's the most stupid thing you can possibly do. Put the F-86 down a whole battle waiting from where it was when it was introduced. In my opinion, that would be absolutely moronic. But because their statistics would uh, dictate that, then that's what they would do. For me, this is where statistics really lets you down. That is the simple bit of where it lets you down. Those planes that aren't played properly, they're going to remain unviable and because no one plays them Gaijin assumes that no one cares but realistically I want every plane in this game to be as balanced as possible and the way that it's currently heading it's just going to make very very few planes viable and everything else basically just straight trash and uh, the more they add the more becomes straight trash which is really really sad because you would kind of expect this game to become more vibrant as time goes on of course, Gaijin always says that they want variance, they want variety in their matchmaking, but they're constantly compressing the matchmaker, and it's just having the opposite effect. It's kind of like saying, oh, well, you know, we have all of this, all, all of these uh, wealthy landowners, let's just, you know, take their land off them. Oh, would you look at that? They're starting to get salty at you, and they're starting to, you know, sabotage their stuff. So what are you going to do? You're going to kill them. And then what are you going to do then? because all your farmers are all dead, you're going to have a massive food shortage and you're going to kill multiple people, uh, multiple people, multiple millions of people. And uh, that's exactly what the Soviet Union did in the 1920s and that's exactly what Gaijin is repeating here. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand that I've been a bit passionate and I've been a bit uh, ranty, if you will, but this is something that I feel really strongly about and I hope you do too. Let your voices be heard and ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and I'll catch you next time.